Hi, nice to see you again. It's Graham Martin. With a bus outside, it's the recruitment guy. We're here today to meet Gary Kasulu, an award-winning optician. We're going to go and try and find in five minutes or less what it takes to become a successful optician. Let's go. Gary Kasulu. The recruitment guy. How are you? Good to see you. Thank you Good so much. You Gary, we've got five minutes, five minutes to try and nail this quick interview. We want to give real value to the people that are watching about what it takes to become a really good optician. It's going to be so a challenge. It's going to be a challenge. So let's press the button, five minutes, and off we go. So the first thing I have to ask you, before we go any further, I'm aware there are opticians, there are dispensing opticians, there are ophthalmologists. Can you just quickly give us an overview from the ground floor up of the different types of role and what they mean? Recruitment guy, that's a great question because optics is it's full of different different ladders to, to get to the top. Right at the bottom, you've got an optical assistant. These guys are, are not have no governing body. They can just go and work in an optician. Uh -huh. And most of the big multiples, they'll call them stage one, two, and three. After that, you can either go in to be a technician, which cuts the lenses of the frames, right. or you can be a dispensing optician, which after three years of study, which you need a minimum qualification, minimum four GCSEs, three years of study, you, you become, you get your diploma in dispensing optics. After that, you become an optometrist, and then right at the top of the tree, top of the is, tree. is an ophthalmologist, and they're the surgeons, these are the, these are the serious guys. Can you spell it? No. You can't, okay, well, there you go. <laughs> uh, I've got to ask you, I know you won an award, what was the award that you won? Uh, we've won a few, uh, personally, we, we were the best new business in the London Bar of Enfield, um, but most fashionable opticians in the UK. We've done some stuff. I see you're wearing some very fashionable glasses. Well, thank you very much, yeah. Graham. Where are yours? Uh, they're in here. Okay. Not they look so, pretty cool. Not so fashionable. Well, they're a recruitment guy, Not right? so fashionable. Anyway, the next thing I want to ask you is, okay. if somebody was to join your business, or indeed any opticians, what are opticians looking for in, in core skills, attitude, or, or, or maybe even qualifications? We want to know that as well. I, I, personally, I don't look to an optometrist to gain a first. Uh -huh. It's all about attitude. Good attitude. Not bad counts. attitude. Good attitude. Good attitude right. counts. Yep. You've got to work with people. I've worked in optics for almost 20 years. I've, no two days are the same. The reason is is because I've got different people. I might have a nun walk in here, the next minute a drug dealer, the next minute a judge. You just don't know who you're going to get. So you have to enjoy people. What makes a good optometrist, a good dispensing optician, even a good optical assistant is enjoying People. Okay, so tell us about the training. What, what's the training for somebody, if they were joining you as a, a school, college leaver, or, or maybe a graduate, tell us about the training. Typically, not just with you, but maybe with the big guys as well. And we've got three minutes left. Wow, uh, three minutes. At the bottom, the optical assistants, they, with the big multiples, they generally, they'll, they'll have different stages in-house. Yeah. So you could take that to, to different places. Um, at, an independent will use an external people like these uh, worshipful company of spectacle makers or the association of dispensing opticians these guys they do their external training uh -huh. you can do that at the bottom level for being a dispensing optician you have to join um, abdo which is the association of dispensing opticians and for an optometrist i'm lost there's so much then isn't there you know huge you've really amount. got to look into but it really is a ladder and it really is a ladder you can start the the prospects bottom, good you are the prospects huge. good for opticians? Huge. Right at the top, you can earn 60, 70, 80,000. Uh -huh. At the bottom, you start off at minimum wage. But right. Truly, I really mean this. Some of the best opticians I've ever worked with have started from the bottom and they've worked their way up. There's an award, like the Oscars, for the best opticians in the UK. The last eight years, consistently, the last eight years, consistently, the person that's won Best Optometrist of the Year has been a dispensing any, optician any, before any that, a Saturday job yeah. at the local optician. So. so give me an idea about what happens on a daily basis in opticians. What, what do people do? Give me an idea about the people in your business. What's happened today? It's Monday. What's happened? The recruitment guy, that's a, that's a great question, but a difficult one to answer because every single day is different. For, a, a not, for an optometrist, there's a thing called routine. They go through this routine so they don't miss anything. That's important. Their, their day will be relatively the same unless they get different challenges optically. For a dispensing optician, we look at prescriptions and we advise accordingly. Now, every single human being has got a different face. We've got a minute, we've got a minute. The challenge is, is to find a frame that suits the face. Uh -huh. And that's, that's the best thing about Is that about. difficult? 
I find I find it a pleasure, and that's that's just for me. So let me ask you one last question. Go for it. What's the one thing, the one thing that that you enjoy most about being an optician, and why I guess you're going to be an optician for another twenty years? What is it? The cliche answer would be saving lives. Uh, if we really, could. you save lives for sure. It, Give me an example of how someone you comes it. in. Um, they, they've got a tumor. We can detect it way before. What through looking in the eyes? That's right. And did you know the highest killer in the UK is cholesterol? Again, we can check that from the eyes. I didn't know that. There we go. Well, I knew about cholesterol, but I didn't know you could check it out from the, the eyes. The recruitment guy. If you get anyone into optics, they're going to have a great career. It's done. It served me really well, and it's it's a career that I've. We have bang with. on the money. Five minutes. How's that? So Gary Kasulu. From Good Looking Optics, thank, thank you. you so much. Thanks for coming in. It's been it's a, a pleasure. pleasure. Thank you very it's much. My pleasure.